That's her. Okay, let's follow her. One migrant worker dies every week in Lebanon. And told me that here is a cemetery. I will kill you in the night and throw you there. Rarely seen on camera, we followed the escape of just one worker fleeing for her life. The kafala system is modern day slavery. There's no two ways about it. Well, we're just approaching Beirut now and the first stage of her escape is almost complete. In a suburb, Sarah, which is not her real name, is met by another Ghanaian woman who escaped a similar ordeal a few months ago. She's now helping Sarah to do the same. I came to Lebanon to work and get money, go for my own business, because I was doing my own business in Ghana. When Sarah arrived in the country, she was allocated a family to live with and work for. When I came there, they received me good, they were good to me. Only one week they changed. And if you do any mistake, she will use her shoes to be beating you. So there, the lashes was too much for me. I ran. I'm sorry, so, so they, they hit you with shoes? Yes. After being beaten by her first employers, Sarah ran away. Her agent then got her new work with another family. But there, her problems only got worse. The mother house, one of my madam's brother is there. If I go there, he want to sleep with me. He told me that this is $20, take and let me spend my night with you. I said, no, I didn't come here because of sex and money. The next day he came, I was in the bathroom scribing. He came with naked, he hold knife and do me like this and tell me, do you know this? I said knife. So he put it on my neck and told me that if you don't know and you tell my, uh, my sister, I will kill you. Here is a cemetery. I will kill you in the night and throw you there. No one will know that it's me. So I was quiet and listened to him. He told me from today going, every day I have to suck your breast. I have to do this, I have to do this. I don't even want to remember because what this guy did to me, it was very painful. It was very painful. I'm so sorry. Sarah's story is not unique, far from it. Many of the people on this flight were Ghanaian domestic workers. They say they experienced similar abuse in Lebanon. They're now safely home in Ghana. The roots of this hell are in a system called kafala, Arabic for sponsorship. Migrants from Africa and Asia are encouraged to live, work and earn money here, but with no rights at all. It is modern day slavery by another name. When they arrive, they're assigned an agent and the agent assigns them to a particular family and they can only leave that family with the agent's consent. The agent holds their passport and their visa is attached to their employment. So if they do try to leave because they've been abused, they themselves then become illegal. And so left without a passport and no rights under Lebanon's law, some are driven to desperation. Aid agencies say one worker dies every week in Lebanon, either through suicide or during an attempted escape. Unfortunately, most people here still don't understand the inherent racism of the kafala system. They think that the abuse that we see day in and day out is the result of a few bad employers rather than a system that is built on the exploitation and subjugation of these women. And it's, it's widespread. It really is. I mean, people think that they have a right to have a migrant domestic worker live in their homes 24-7, be confined to her room, not have her passport with her. These are all things that, because of decades of practice, have just become completely normalized. The Lebanese government has previously acknowledged that the kafala system needs reform to stamp out abuses, but they have yet to be implemented. They take us as a slaves. If I use myself, they take me as a slave. There are many people who is arranging themselves to come. They shouldn't come because this journey is do and die.